Welcome to today's WCN News Report. UK police officer has been suspended after kneeling on the neck of a black man. London's police force suspends officer after video emerged of him kneeling on black suspect's head and neck. The suspect was later shown sitting and speaking to police officers. Police said he was arrested on Thursday on suspicion of a fray and possession of an offensive weapon following reports of a fight and remained in custody. The Metropolitan Police referred to the incident for investigation by the UK's Independence Police Watchdog and London Mayor Sadiq Khan called for a swift and thorough investigation of what he described as a distressing incident. The video footage that I have seen today and is circulating on social media is extremely disturbing. Metropolitan Police Dep Deputy Commissioner Steve House said in a statement on Friday. Here, here is a video now. Okay, okay, okay. Get off me! Get off my neck! Get off my neck! I ain't done anything rough! There we go. Get off my neck! Stay down, stay calm! Stay calm, stay calm! Okay, have you done anything? Stay calm, stay calm! Stay calm, stay calm! Rob, 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 this is totally disgusting what happened to this man just months after the killing of George Floyd. Yesterday outside one stop community store a shoplift occurred. A male dressed in grey entered the store and took cans of beer off of a shelf and walked out. I asked the shopkeeper whilst I was out to get some sweets if she knew what happened and she said he didn't pay. How's going out feel during the pandemic feel? To start with, it would be really weird with all of the social distancing everywhere, picture up here. In the Milton Keynes city centre, you will have to walk on the left side during the coronavirus pandemic. You have to keep two metres apart from one another, which can be really tricky, especially for people with SEN needs. We are all in this pandemic together. We are all in this pandemic together and we can beat this together by protecting each other and looking out for everyone around us. This pandemic will be extremely hard to deal with, especially for people with autism, but we must all get through this together and we must all work together as a team to prevent the spread of coronavirus. This is crucial that we all work together, protect the vulnerable around us and protect the people with special needs who need more support than others. Risks to autistic people during this pandemic may include lashing out, struggling to communicate and struggling to process emotions. We are all working together during all of this and we need to support those around us that need extra support and we need to be vigilant and aware and not be ignorant about autism. Autism and ADHD need to be more understood and the people that understand them try, which is good. If you try to understand it, you will understand it. If you give up trying to understand autism, it's not going to work well. So we all need to understand each other, support each other and listen to each other, no matter what our differences are. We all need to be kind to one another. This is really important. It's not just autism and ADHD that need to be understood, it's also physical disabilities and other mental health issues, for example depression or ODD. We are all different in our own ways and we all need to respect that. Get me out of here. Flay. Tongue flu. Money need a hearing aid. You talking about.